actor Stanley Andrew Jackson III and Victoria Valentine are joining us now with more about this fun and adventure-filled adaptation. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank for you. Having me. This is such a great. I love. It is a family-friendly. The costumes are amazing. Yeah. Stanley, talk to me about your character and being part of this production. Uh, my character's name is D'Artagnan, and D'Artagnan is this young man who has an, uh, a dream to become a musketeer. So he goes um, from his small hometown to Paris to become a musketeer with his sister. Yeah. Um, yeah, sister. Sabine, uh, uh, D'Artagnan's sister, she also has a dream of fighting alongside her brother and defending the king and queen's honor, and she wants a big as life as she can get. Yeah. It's a great storyline, and as we're seeing some video from what happens on stage, there's a lot of action, but there's also a lot of humor in the mm -hmm. show, right? <laughs> yes, yes, there's so much humor. Um, I think the show has a lovely quality where it goes in and out of very serious moments, but moments where you can really um, just allow kids to laugh, but also grown-ups to laugh. I, I like to think of it as a marvel for the theater. Um, yeah. yeah. Action-packed, for yeah. sure. And I, I think there's always some sort of memory that adults we can relate to the Three Musketeers, whether it's mm -hmm. a cartoon adaptation or a theater where you're saying, you know, the adults are kind of laughing with the humor. Yeah. There's something that everybody's going to take away yeah. from it. Victoria, what about you playing sort of this, like, female, go-get-it, girl power role? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is so fun that she just drops in and decides, this is what I want, and it's funny along the way because she just demands that everybody uh, accept her for who she is and she is not afraid to poke fun at the story that says what is this girl doing <laughs> in the 17th century and she says well it doesn't matter I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna wear a dress also <laughs> <laughs> you guys make it look like so much fun but I know especially these fight scenes I know that's got to be a lot of work because mm -hmm. Being able to convincingly fight on stage, it really is like choreography, yeah, right? Yeah. And you have to be so razor sharp every night. This is rehearsal we're seeing right yes. now? Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. And Stanley had previous uh, sword training, and we both are dancers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think that actually helped because it really is like... It's choreography. It's like, it's like a dangerous ballet. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a great way to put yeah. it. I'm yeah. sorry, a former sword training. What was, yes. what's the sword training? So I, um, I got my master's in classical theater um, at the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in London. And so um, a module of that training, we had to um, do a sword fighting. So, um, well, excuse me. I mean, this <laughs> role was made for you. Yeah. <laughs> but there's never, what happens if something goes wrong, though? I mean, the show must go it on, right? Do. It never does. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's well, always on. Always. <laughs> it's always on. And I have, uh, I get to sword fight opposite another woman in the show, mm. which is a fantastic moment. And our fight director brags about how good we are as partners, but it really is just that you maintain the connection and the level of safety. There is a constant ebb and flow of communication, yeah. so it is very safe. Yeah, are they I'm real sure. swords? They yes, are real they are swords, real swords. Um, but they are dull, so there are no sharp edges. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they are real. Uh, but it w even with a dull edge, uh, if you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would still hurt if you got hit yeah. with one. Mm. After the show, I mean, obviously it's a physically demanding show. Yeah. Because you guys are focusing so intensely throughout the production, mm. do you feel just sort of mentally and emotionally <laughs> drained every, I mean, do you go out and drink together? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we haven't done that yet. No, we're not yet, but it, it is it is draining in a way, but we get so much light from our audience who, um, they are loving it at the moment, um, especially when I can hear a kid laugh, because the kids and the adults don't always laugh at the exact same yeah. time. Right. So those those little moments with the kids um, enjoying this show really sort of bring to life everything that we're doing, yeah. I think it's great. I mean, it looks awesome. The costumes, the fight scene, everything. We want to give you all of the information that's coming up for The Three Musketeers. We sure do. There it is on your screen right now. Tickets and showtimes for The Three Musketeers is available by calling 713-220-5700. Or you can visit their website, alleytheater.org. Stanley Andrew Jackson III and Victoria <laughs> Valentine, thank you so much for stopping by. It looks like such a fun show. Thank you thank for you having us. Thank you for having us. us.